The Magic Pillow Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Lily who loved to dream. She had a special pillow that she always slept with, and every night she would have wonderful adventures in her dreams. One night, she dreamed that she was a princess in a beautiful castle. She wore a sparkling dress and a shiny crown, and everyone admired her. She danced with handsome princes and ate delicious cakes. She felt very happy and special. The next night, she dreamed that she was an astronaut in a spaceship. She wore a cool suit and a helmet, and everyone praised her. She explored the stars and planets and met friendly aliens. She felt very brave and smart. The night after that, she dreamed that she was a superhero in a big city. She wore a colorful costume and a mask, and everyone cheered for her. She fought against evil villains and saved innocent people. She felt very strong and heroic. Every night, Lily had a different dream, and every dream made her feel good about herself. She loved her pillow and thanked it for giving her such amazing dreams. But one night, something strange happened. Lily went to bed as usual, but when she closed her eyes, she saw nothing but darkness. She waited for her dream to start, but nothing happened. She tried to think of something nice, but nothing came to her mind. She felt very confused and scared. She opened her eyes and looked at her pillow. It looked normal, but it felt different. It was cold and hard, not warm and soft like before. She wondered what was wrong with it. She got up and went to her parents' room. She knocked on the door and said, Mommy, Daddy, something's wrong with my pillow. It won't let me dream. Her parents opened the door and saw her holding her pillow. They smiled and said, Don't worry, sweetie. There's nothing wrong with your pillow. It's just a normal pillow. Lily was shocked. She said, But it's not a normal pillow. It's a magic pillow. It gives me wonderful dreams every night. Her parents laughed and said, Oh, honey, there's no such thing as a magic pillow. You're just imagining things. You're the one who makes your own dreams. Lily didn't believe them. She said, No, it's true. My pillow is magic. It used to be warm and soft, but now it's cold and hard. Something must have happened to it. Her parents sighed and said, Look, Lily, we know you love your pillow, but it's time to grow up. You can't rely on a pillow to make you happy. You have to find happiness within yourself. Lily felt hurt by their words. She said, but I don't know how to do that. Her parents hugged her and said, we'll help you. We'll teach you how to be happy without depending on anything or anyone else. They took her back to her room and tucked her in bed. They kissed her goodnight and said, we love you very much, Lily. And we're proud of you for who you are. Lily smiled weakly and said, I love you too. They turned off the light and left the room. Lily lay in bed with her pillow beside her. She felt sad and lonely. She missed her dreams. She closed her eyes and tried to sleep. But she couldn't. She tossed and turned all night. 
she wished for her magic pillow to come back. But it didn't. The end.